Hi, I am Will Holloway. I am a Deputy Creative Director at Fever Unlimited. Our client Now TV is an online on-demand streaming service and they gave us the brief uh, which is around promoting their um, Cinema Pass, which has an amazing collection of uh, classic and current films uh, during the summer. Well, our problem really was, how do we get people to stay indoors and stream films when it's one of the hottest summers on record out, outside? We did, we did our research, we, we kind of looked at what people were talking about, what kind of events were coming up, and we found out that the that Jurassic Park, which we had exclusively on the service, um, was having its 25th anniversary that summer. And we thought, this that's a really, really great opportunity for the brand, you know, as, as the only streaming service with Jurassic Park, this could be a really, really nice opportunity for us to do something. We looked into kind of what we could do around Jurassic Park, what, what the kind of what the kind of the, the things people were still talking about around Jurassic Park were. Um, and the most obvious thing a PR company would do, and many PR companies have done in the past, is let's make a giant dinosaur. Let's put it somewhere that people will see it. You know, you'll get some coverage, you'll get some broadcast crews coming down to look at it, but it's been done before. Um, and so we wanted to do something a bit different and we wanted to kind of celebrate the, the kind of the fan culture around Jurassic Park and really how the film has gone from being a work of film to being a jumping off point for um, a whole subculture on the internet. Um, Jurassic Park now isn't so much a film as a, a springboard for memes, uh, particularly amongst the target audience. So 18 to 34 year olds, if you ask them about Jurassic Park, um, they probably, the first thing they'll probably talk about is Jeff Goldblum rather than the dinosaurs. Um, so we thought, you know, like, why don't we find a way of celebrating um, the meme culture around Jurassic Park and internet meme culture in general by, by thinking about how we can sort of take memes into the real world and create a, a real world, real life example of, of the internet, of, of an internet meme. Um, so we thought, you know, like, uh, instead of creating a dinosaur-sized dinosaur, what if we created a dinosaur-sized Jeff Goldblum? People call him the zaddy of the internet. He's he's a kind of a god of the internet in his own way. The thing that people were most talking about about Jurassic Park, uh, 25 years later, is uh, Jeff is about a three second clip of Jeff Goldblum with his chest out, huffing and puffing, looking very sultry, sexy, covered in in kind of glistening, uh, sweaty dew, um, in the kind of Costa Rican sunshine, looking radiant uh, in, his, in his own way. And we thought, you know, like. What if, we, what if we were to sort of create a dinosaur-sized version of one of the internet's most favorite memes, really? There are, you could probably count the number of uh, people who can make dinosaur statues, sized statues of um, internet um, memes um, on probably one hand in the UK. Uh, and uh, we, we approached a couple of them and I don't think, a, a few of them just didn't really get it. I think. A couple of them laughed in our face on the phone when we tried to sort of sell the idea to them, but um, one of them didn't, and one of them was uh, was a fan of the film and was a kind of also kind of totally got what we were we were trying to do. It, um, they're a kind of a, a, a maker called Nicholas Alexander, who um, they're, they're great. They they sort of specialize in creating um, large works of art. We actually Fever as an agency worked with them a few years back. Uh, creating a very, very, very large uh, rubber duck, which floated down the Thames, uh, which became quite, quite iconic in its own way. And so, you know, we've had a really good working relationship with them in the past. The statue itself took six weeks to create, from the design stages to execution. So um, it was, it was no, no mean, mean undertaking. Um, it took 200 hours of, of kind of manpower to kind of uh, to sculpt and craft the statue. ended up going on every single uh, big US morning TV show. The American press covering it really helped sort of make the, make, make the reach of the campaign go even further. And then once people had seen the media coverage of it, uh, we, had, we had people from across London coming down to see it. Um, you had people who were nearby going to visit it on their lunch break. And it became this sort of thing that if you were a Jurassic Park or Jeff Goldblum or just a fan of internet memes, you had to come down and see it. And um, 
you know, social media was was really a big driving be driver behind that. Um, we gave people the chance to basically almost create their own memes. The social reach of the campaign was 2.3 billion, which uh, I think shows that, you know, social media and, and the media in, in general, um, you know, cross paths all the time now. And, you know, something which, which kind of grows on social media can become a media story and, and vice versa. As a result, we had over a third, almost 50% sign up um, spike that week. So without any advertising or uh, other kind of above the line support, the that activity alone meant that uh, almost 50% more people uh, signed up to an LTV cinema pass. This. I heard about this. But, uh, I have not oh, yeah. seen it. Oh. This. Oh. Wow. wow. This is Jeff Goldblum's head. Wow. There you go, right there. Wow. Uh, uh, nice. Wow. Uh. Isn't that amazing? Look at that thing.